Hello, I am Jeremy White, and today I will show you how to download the default code of your VX robot using EZC. Also, I will then show you how to use the default code to make your robot move. When you first receive your VX robot, the Cortex microcontroller, which is shown here, it comes pre-programmed with the default code. Now, the default code will allow your robot to perform basic movements. The Cortex can only handle one code at a time, so if you use EZC to create another program and want to go back to the default code, you can do so by using these easy steps. As you can see, I have EZC version 4 for Cortex opened. If you do not have EZC, you can get a trial version from internetdownloads.com. There will be a link in the description. Now, there are two ways to download the default code. We'll be going through both of these ways, but first let's go through the fastest and easiest way. But before we do that, make sure you have a USB cable connected from your Cortex microcontroller to your computer, as shown in this picture. Okay. Once you have got that, you we can go to Build and Download menu, and then Download Easy C Default Code. Then press Yes. This takes about 10 to 15 seconds, sometimes more. It matches the size of the file. Since that was pretty small, it took pretty quickly. Goes to the terminal panel. After that, you can press X to close it. Okay. Now that we have got that. Let's go to the other way. The other way is file, open project. Then little samples button down here. Press that. And then hunt for the folder called EZC version 4 for Cortex default code. Double click the folder. You can double click or just press open on the application. And ta da! This is EZC default code version 2.9. Okay. Now, downloading it is pretty simple. And it's kind of the same. We also go to build and download and then be on download or you can press F7 we will do it again compiles it and then you press S yes and again it will take about the same amount of time and then goes to the terminal section and then again we can close it Ta -da. okay now Let's talk about what this code actually does. It has two driving modes, arcade mode and tank mode. Arcade mode is used with one joystick to control your whole robot. And tank mode is when you use both joysticks to control both sides of your robot simultaneously. You can switch between these two by orange jumper clip into the digital side of your VEX microcontroller into port 12 as seen here in this picture. Yeah. And when, when, it in, when it's in, you have tank mode. When the, there's no jumper clip, you are in arcade mode. It's pretty simple to do this. You can do it while the robot is on or off, but it's more smart to do it while it's off. Let's go back here. It also has different ports you can plug things in. As in, if you wanted a arm or a claw you plug them into six and seven of your motor side of your vex microcontroller and that's about it this is easy see default code version 2.9 and hope you have a good one